as soon as you start it, you want it to end, and when it ends, you never want it to start again. But as soon as you stand up, okay, down and defend yourself now. You're thinking the whole time, like, when is this going to end? Don't let your breath! The next guy should be on that side, ready to roll! See, it's a mental thing, and trying to break you, and typically by the end of the five minutes, everybody is broken. Uh, bull in the ring is basically um, when people are disciplined, whether they're late for practice. They could be late for practice, um, miss a practice. Undisciplined, you screw up some other way. Mouth out to the trainers. Pretty much, pretty much anything that should get you a slap on the wrist. They, they prefer bull in the ring for disciplinary reasons. The coaches think it's more in it you did something wrong or they set a deadline for some paperwork and you didn't turn it in. Other than that, I mean, they can constitute it for whatever they want if they feel it's a disciplinary reason. You know, they're just making you feel bad for whatever you did and uh, getting you tired, work, making you work hard, trying to break you. It's a pretty harsh punishment. It's basically eight minutes of fresh guys circling in on you every 30 seconds. They uh, circle in on you and just try to take you down and basically it's a mental thing and try to break you and typically by the end of the five minutes everybody is broken. Like that's all it's going to be. It's going to be a fight. If he has long hair, can you grab him by his hair? No. And as soon as you start it, you want it to end and when it ends, you never want it to start again. Uh, as a bull, you uh, kind of don't want to let people see that you're broke, that they're breaking you, because um, that's just going to make them go even harder. Kind of is like a breaking down of your mental strength and it's like rebuilding process. You're going to get tired, your muscles are going to hurt, your body's going to hurt. It's a responsibility thing. Uh, you're liable for your actions and when you screw up, you got to pay for it. It works on mental toughness, conditioning. Um, teaching your body to um, be able to work through that zone where you think you can't move anymore. It's not that long, but it's long enough where it can help you, your cardio. Um, the second it starts, you want it to be over because you got someone coming in slamming on your head. You know, during during the whole time, you're just thinking like how much this sucks. And you know, when you get taken down, go right back up to your feet, show them that you want more. You keep pushing into them. You can't really back off too much. So just speed off of that. Staying in good position is basically your number one goal, you know, not giving up takedowns, just staying in good position and not getting tossed around like a rag doll. I try to control my breathing as much as possible and not get so frantic. You can't stay so tight, you gotta be loose. Every once in a while you can score on people, I mean, you can turn it around completely and be the offensive guy. I think it teaches the person who receives a ball in the ring, like, discipline. Yeah, try to get the benefit out of this. You're helping him, and you're helping yourself learn how to score. You learn from your mistake, and you're real broken down, but everyone picks you back up off the mat, and gives you a round of applause and you're done. You learned your lesson, so that's a real point of bowling.